With the close of 2021, Nebraska Farm Bureau senior economist Jay Rempe looked back at the year to see how the farm and ranch economy fared. Rempe says in many ways, 2021 will go down as an extraordinary year for Nebraska farmers and ranchers. When you think back at 2021 and everything that went on last year, uh, it was a peculiar year. I mean, we had ongoing COVID, all the supply chain bottlenecks, inflation, uh, polar vortex and rolling blackouts and it was just a crazy year but amazingly when at the end of the year when you look for agriculture it turned out to be a pretty decent year and could for Nebraska agriculture even be a record-setting year. Rempe says projections show the net farm income in the state of Nebraska for 2021 could exceed eight billion dollars which would be a record. Most producers are sitting in a uh, better financial position right now than they were a year ago. And a lot of that has to do with the higher prices we had last year. We saw some key Nebraska commodities, corn, wheat, and soybeans all went uh, higher in prices. Cattle prices are higher now than they were a year ago. Pork prices, so those higher prices and some good production levels and good yields all pointed to better receipts for, for farmers and ranchers. According to the Federal Reserve Bank, farm loan demand was down last year as well as the number of bankruptcies and loan repayment rates were better. All that pointed to a better economic state for agriculture. The estimates for federal assistance last year for farmers and ranchers are about 600 million, which is off quite a bit compared to the two and a half billion that occurred in, in uh, 2020. So there was a little carryover of some of the COVID assistance programs into the first part of the 2021. But most of the income, the record-setting income that occurred last year was due to the market. As agriculture, for the most part, emerged from 2021 financially strong, the big question on farmers and ranchers' minds is what will 2022 hold? I hate to say this because we're getting tired of it. I mean, we had 2019 and 20 and 2021, kind of an unusual year and a lot of uncertainty. But uh, 2022 is shaping up to be the exact same Thing. Rempe says topping the list of concerns for farmers and ranchers heading into the new year is input costs. And that's to be expected. Look at what fertilizer prices have, have doubled in some cases. Chemical prices are up. There's concerns about availability of both fertilizer and chemicals and machinery and parts and all those kinds of things. Those are going to continue into 2022. Uh, farmers are going to have to manage around that. There's a general expectation that as we move through 2022, those kind of supply chain problems will ease and we'll see a little easing back on inflation and some of the, the rising costs. But unfortunately, most of that probably won't happen until later in the year after the crops in the ground or the livestock were mostly through the production year. Rempe says drought in the West will also be a factor to pay attention to. He says the dryness compounded with high winds in December could cause issues and a good snowpack this winter is needed. However, Rempe says there are some promising signs for positive commodity prices. As you look for the year, there's some signs of promise. I mean, exports have been last year were just record breaking for corn and beef. Soybeans were good, wheat. There's some signs that that will continue, but not at the same pace. So demand will hang in there. It seems like pretty good. Even though beef prices are up, consumers are buying it. So that looks fairly good. So at the outset, it looks potentially like prices can, could hang in there and provide uh, some opportunities to, uh, to market the, the commodities to, to return some, a modest return. We're not gonna see like we did in 2021. But having said that, uh, it's gonna be volatile. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of uncertainty. Rempe says trade with China could also factor in as a wild card. With the end of the phase one agreement, which China did not live up to, and tense relations between the U.S. and China, Nebraska agriculture could be affected. And Rempe says to never rule out a black swan event. They're rare, they're not supposed to happen very often, but we've seen like we've had a, a rash of them here lately. So I just mentioned that because uh, as you're managing your farm and ranch operation, just be cognizant that uh, things can change overnight, just like at a snap of your fingers. And uh, I think we need to start planning for that. For more stories like this, subscribe to our Economic Tidbits newsletter at nefb.org.